Shadow of Judgment. All right, I don't, I don't know. That worked for me. Anyway, time for Shadow of Judgment, kids, and I'll tell you how what it is that time. Oh God. So whoever Shadow this is, illusions are gonna be breaking for you. Whose Shadow is this for? Water signs. <laughs> Damn. All right, Water, you're up. Looks like it's time for your Shadow of Judgment. What's Shadow of Judgment for anybody who asks? Shadow of Judgment is where we look at the nooks, the crannies, the circles, and the four corners of what is going on in your little world so we know exactly what's up with ya. What's going on behind the scenes? What might be your shadow side, what you might not be knowing, what's unconscious to you, all of that jazz. Cancer, you're up first. Mind your water signs. This is for sun, moon, rising, Venus, and Jupiter. Check your charts. If this doesn't resonate with you, don't worry about it. It's just a card game. It doesn't work if you don't believe in it, right? I say that every video because that's important. Belief is very important in this kind of shit. All right, Cancer. Something's happening. Some shit's going down. Action. Charge. Justice. Ooh. Could be dealing with a Libra. But this is like tower moment for you guys, so. Hmm. Interesting. Ah, oh, lack of commitment here. Probably divorce. Are you quickly separating from someone because you think it's the right thing to do? Yeah, probably. You, like, there might be an idiot. <laughs> there might be somebody not giving you anything. This is the worry for you. The separation right here? Oh, because you, oh, okay, you don't want to be broke. Okay, that makes sense. What? Bro. What are you doing? <laughs> what are you doing? Oh my goodness. Okay, cancer. Like... What? You guys' are, shadows are always crazy with me. Dude. Guys, your shadow is pretty heavy. Like, to a fault. But it, the shower showed up out of nowhere, so it's like, mm, Okay. So, whatever illusion you got, you water signs are dealing with this week, so I guess I gotta pull a card to see what's up. Huh. Were you the ones who I said that you're probably with someone for the, like, or someone's cheating or some shit? Like, someone's, like, I, like, I, I could have swore it was either you or somebody else, Cancer, but I'm pretty sure it's you. Because, because <laughs> it's just you guys. No offense, because your adventures are amazing. They really are. Uh, one of my favorite signs, honestly, is Cancer. But, Okay. There's swift action for a really shitty offer from somebody. And that's a wish for some or or your wait or you're hoping that something will happen quickly with somebody, either an earth sign, uh, Capricorn, Virgo or Taurus, any of those. But it could just be an idiot with nothing really good to offer, right? And something swift happens with them, which is a wish fulfillment and I feel like it's cuz you want to turn them down. Because, like, you don't want the commitment, but at the same time, it's like, you're broke and you want to go somewhere else. The problem is, is, like, you left the sword, so people know what's going on. And Justice right here is saying you're all anxious about the separation. Nothing's going to be resurrected from it, and you feel like you're going to end up broke from it. It's like, this right here is what stemmed the really shit offer coming, or this offer just being reneged. Yeah, reneged. Like, the sneakery was the reneging. Totally like being an Indian giver a little bit, I guess. This is like the old saying would be back when I was growing up and nobody gave a shit because it was the 90s and the 80s. But like, yeah, like... 
cancer, whatever it is you're going through, it's like... Alright, you know what? I did this for fire signs, so might as well do it for you. What's up with this judgment right here? Because it's like, you guys... Charging forward. Or trying to win a fight of some sort. In order to come together with somebody. But that's your tower. Like. Yeah, that's an illusion. Like, moving ahead in order to get together with someone. Possibly Sagittarius. You know, there's no communication here. No one's reaching out to each other. But it's like. Like, I'm not sure about this page of pentacles with the. Eight of Wands, because it's like swiftly, like, you know, Page of Pentacles also deals with people and how you handle them, and it's like, you know, this Page of Pentacles reverse is an idiot. It's like they can't talk to anybody, or they don't know how to, like, approach people, and everything they offer is just shit. And it's like, that's a wish fulfillment somewhere, but it's like, that's not good. This is not, this is not good. This is not a real thing. Because it's with this, I feel like. Like, you're expecting some idiot to give you something, but, like, it's never... It's not good. They, like, snuck away, and, like, you know that they snuck away, and they left you, like, with the Nine of Pentacles reverse and the Five of Pentacles right here, like, absolutely... Almost like a shock... Like a shock to the system. But that's your shadow, so watch out for your tower. Um, cancer, because I feel like whoever it is you're expecting something from, it's probably either not going to be what you want or you're not getting what you think that you deserve. Or whatever it is you thought that you were supposed to be getting from this person or was supposed to be getting offered from this person, it's like, it, it, it's like... Okay, imagine it's one of those kids who, uh, on the internet who get upset with their parents because they got them the white iPhone instead of the pink one. And it's like, because you didn't like it, they took it away. And they're just like, well, since you don't like it, here, have a Nokia. Bitch, stuck up ass. Like, you know, like, it's like someone totally, like, takes something back. And it's just like, no, I'm not giving you shit. So be careful of that cancer. Scorpio, it's time for your fucking shadow. <laughs> Let's see what you got. The Emperor, you might be looking back at stuff after you've got yourself settled, have a rule being like grumbly pants but right now it's like yeah got some stuff stuck in your head um but you want to be by yourself you are good on your own you're not worried about shit like you may be old but you still want to start something you might want to go back and start something honestly sorry something was like flew in my ear and it was like really creepy um now what's going on in your head might be based on insecurities and it's like, okay, maybe this isn't, what? Okay, hold on. Either you're snooping or they're snooping. It's one of the two, one or the other. It doesn't really matter. But somebody who looks good on their own is snooping. It could be an air sign, right? It's like you're stuck. God damn. <laughs> All right, yeah, tower's going to be prevalent for water, I guess. All right, that could be you, Scorpio. All right. Your shadow judgment, right? You guys... You feel old. feel like you got control. And you want to start something. But it's like, you know, if you start something, it's going to be a burden. Because it's really a, a tough decision to make. Do you want to avoid a tower? Or do you want to be burdened with this new beginning, right? Because <laughs> right here, there's a Nine of Pentacles chick... Just being like, I'm top bitch. But, like, she goes snooping in order to avoid a tower because, like, I guess she didn't give her a cup or you guys didn't give her a cup. And because of that, like, stuck in their head or stuck where they are in their head because they're insecure when in reality they, they should be more focused on their own happiness or what will truly make them happy. Either you're not offering your cup up to get to that point of happiness because you don't want to be uncomfortable, or someone's doing that to you. One of the two, Scorpio, but it's like, hmm. What would make you happy? 
leaving is being like bye Felicia <laughs> like no and separating from somebody it could be Sagittarius you, you like okay there's no love here there's spying there's crankiness there's being petty with the emotions if there are any right um, there's insecurities there's mind fuckery but I don't know if you're torturing them, Scorpio, by sticking around, or if you're tortured by sticking around. One of the two. I really can't tell. Two seconds. I need to get the watch. Because it's a sauna in my house, and I've already lost three pounds in an hour. Oh, shit. I got another monster. Oh. I love my baby. I really do. My husband got me two monsters. I only saw the one. I'm so happy. If that's his, though, he should have fucking said something. But that's your shadow of judgment, Scorpio. Yours is not as bad as Cancer's. I don't know what's going on with Cancer. All right, I guess this is Pisces. That was quick. All right, Pisces, you're waiting for something. Let's see what your shadow is. You are waiting. Seeing for your ships to come in. And everything just fell on the floor. Okay. Oh, well, maybe that's all of them. Fuck it. Yeah. Like, someone wants to charge for it, but they don't want to fight. They just want to give in. Move forward to give in. Trying to be decisive about the whole thing. Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. Trying to go to the future. You're waiting to see what happens because you want your heart not to be broken anymore. Yeah. Queen of Swords has got some decisions to make. Moving to the future is a burden. Ooh, two aces. What are you up to, Pisces? You got two... I'll count that as two opportunities because they're both going a separate direction. Injustice on this side. Also Libra's card. And an enemy in the... Like, okay, well, either way, you're... Pros and cons, everybody. Pros and cons, in a nutshell. All right, Pisces, let's look over yours. Mm. You're waiting for heartbreak to start something new, and yet that's a bad idea. It's terrible. It's actually very bad karma. Like, are you waiting to break somebody's heart, or are you waiting for a heartbreak to come up so you can start something? Or is this after the heartbreak? Either way, I, I don't like this right here. I really don't like this. This is like, no. Uh, wanting to move to the future, but they're burdened by some sort of fairness element in here. While this Queen of Swords is being decisive with their offer going to the future. This person is taking action to the past. This side's action to the past. This side's action in the future. But this side's like, lack of victory. So it's like... Hmm. It's like it's too burdening some to move on from the relationship you're in that you're waiting to break up for because you want to be fair, right? Like you want to give to the person who already has, not the person who already or this is the person who doesn't have anything, this is the person who has shit. You know, they got red in their pocket and it's like, you know, this is like a, a lack of victory with this person because they take your pentacle elsewhere. They just decide fuck it. Whereas on this side, because you keep like giving in to this person, you just keep waiting. And then there's heartbreak. So then you're trying to get to something, start something else back in the day, but it's like bad karma right here. What is this bad karma? Because that's what I'm more curious about. What is this? Oh, could be with a Scorpio, but yeah, death. Death, 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 death. Something's gonna die. Something else is gonna come in its place, maybe. Ooh. Third party situation. It matches with the heartbreak. Okay, Pisces, I'm gonna say this because I don't think it, I don't know if it's you. I don't know if I should think it's you, but if it is, <laughs> don't cheat. Just don't do it. Like, I, I feel like someone's cheating in this. 
Like, you're either waiting for someone to cheat or you're waiting for a chance to cheat, and it's like... It makes you lose both people. Like, if you were gonna, like, cheat on whoever it is you're waiting on, or cheat with whoever it is this dude over yonder, because I feel like you're waiting for them, but it's like, if you do anything with them, I don't think they're gonna stick around. I think they're gonna go somewhere else, wherever the money leads, right? Because that's more decisive for them, right? Like, the queen's already looking this way. She's kind of Googled this, and it's like, nah, I'm going into money. And then it's like... If you do it, your person's going to find out, and then it's, like, definitely going to be over. So, yeah. If this is not you, this might be your partner. I mean, I don't know. Touch them extra so they <laughs> so they don't, like, look at anybody else, you know? Like, worship them for a week if you got to, but, yeah. Tower. You guys didn't even get a tower, but damn. I, I sure as fuck found one. Death is working as a tower right here. But that's your shadows, Pisces. That's it. That's the end of your readings. Thanks for watching to the end of this video. If you want a personal reading, just hit me up in the description box below. Email and all the details are there. Uh, na -na -na -na. This is also for the uh, 19th to the 26th, because I don't think I said that. Just so you know because I thought I forgot something. But anyway, that was the reading, so I'll see you guys later. Love you and take cares. Bye-bye.